back to Bumpy Road. Today, I'm going to be drinking Ballantine Ale Triple X. The reason I am uh, going to be drinking this beer is uh, through my home brewing and reading, reading books, this, this beer came up quite a bit. This um, is one of the oldest breweries when it was really around um, in the United States. Uh, it was <clears throat> founded in New Jersey by Peter Ballantyne in uh, 1840. And by 1879, it had actually become the sixth largest American brewery, uh, doubling the size of Anheuser-Busch. Uh, the name of the brewery would uh, continue on until about 1972, I believe it was May of 1972 when it, uh, it finally went out. Um, but perhaps Blue Ribbon actually purchased the, the rights to the name. And um, this is one of the older ale recipes in America that they uh, started uh, putting out again. So I saw it in the store and said, Jesus, you know, I've read about this in the book, so let's go ahead and, and grab this. Uh, right on the bottle does say America's largest selling ale. Uh, there is no ABV, I have no clue what the alcohol percentage is, but usually um, they used X's to determine strength back in the day. So with three X's, I'm going to guess it's probably around a 6%. It's just a guess, it might be 7%. So I don't know if this is a screw cap, this is my first time having this, but uh, yeah, there is the... Uh, Here's the bottle. If you guys want to read the full history on it, because it's it's quite extensive and uh, interesting, uh, just go to uh, Wikipedia and type in the Ballantine Ale, um, or, or just Google search Ballantine Ale and, and go to the Wikipedia page. Uh, gives a nice full history on it. So, it is a screw cap. Cool. So, I was going to use my Cog Railway bottle opener, but not needed. So let's go ahead and pour this in a glass and have this for the very first time. One of uh, America's oldest ales that uh, is still in existence. Thanks to Paps Brewing Company for bringing it back. So it pours with a uh, tight white head, very small. Uh, it is very clear. Um, kind of, uh, say an SRM of maybe like three or so, uh, so very, very light yellow. Um, let's go in for the aroma. Kind of get like a little bit of a floral aroma. I believe this is dry hopped as well, so, um, Might be a, a tad bit of a, of a cracker malt um, aroma coming up as well. So let's just go in for a deeper sniff now. Yeah, I'd say it's a bit on the like the earthy uh, floral side of the of the hops. So first swig. So it's got a, uh, a pretty crisp body, a little bit of carbonation. Um, some uh, cracker sweetness to it. It's not, uh, it's not very bitter, but uh, 
I'd say it's, it's probably, you know, probably around what, um, like a bass pale ale would be for bitterness, uh, but it doesn't have all the, uh, the flavors of what the bass, so it's kind of, uh, it's more in the, uh, the cracker, uh, flavors of the malt, so, uh, probably nice, nice churro, probably not much more than that used in this, um, could have used a six row too back then. Uh, I don't know if they had two row malt, so if they're sticking true to the recipe. It might have been uh, might have been six row. Not a bad drinker. This was really cheap too. Um, found this at Market Basket. I was just doing my cheap beer search. Uh, I think it was 12 pack and looked over in the uh, domestic uh, lager portion and uh, saw I saw a six pack of this on the shelf and I was like, man, I've got to get it. And it was like uh, six dollars and forty nine cents for the six pack. So. Uh, like I said, I do not know the ABV. I've looked all over for it. I went through the, uh, the history thing there with uh, the Wikipedia and still couldn't find what the ABV was on this. So, hey, if anybody does know, please chime in because I would like to know. Um, yeah, this is enjoyable. Um, it's not as wow as, you know, a lot of the, uh, the pails that you're going to find out there uh, being made today um, by you know, the uh, craft breweries, uh, even like Sierra Nevada, stuff like that. Um, so it's not quite as hoppy, but it's, it's decent flavored. So, hey, cheers, guys. Go out, uh, try to find yourself a Ballantine Ale. And thank you for watching.